If you know me, you know I'm a hard gainer. So I definitely feel for all you skinny guys out there that are trying to put on mass so clothing can look good on you. I had the exact same struggles up until I started lifting weights and eating more. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But along the way, when I was super skinny, I did pick up some certain hacks and tips that I used to do all the time to look bigger and I think any skinny guy would take advantage of. If that sounds interesting, I'm gonna show you eight of them. Let's hop into it. Number one, the most obvious one, you're going to want a layer. This is just common sense. The issue, you're too skinny and you wanna look heavier. So logic follows that you'll need to add volume to your appearance. And the fastest way to do that is by layering clothing. Jackets, sweaters, shirts are all clothing that you can layer on top of each other to look thicker. And you as a skinny guy, you have an advantage because you don't run the risk of looking like a snowman or just extra bulge. For two, Always make sure that your sleeves are fitted. This is so crucial, guys. I can't stress this enough. Even if there's a slight hint of excess fabric, your arms are gonna pay for it. Even me that I have some sort of muscle definition on my arms, if I were to make this mistake, my arms would look significantly smaller. Just look at the difference between these two shirts. One, it fits perfectly. On the other, it doesn't. And just look and look at the size appearance that my arm gives. So always make sure that the arm sleeve is always tight and never loose. Number three, you want to use lighter colors. Lighter colors like white, light gray, or beige make you look heavier. This is part of the psychology of color and how people perceive you differently depending on the colors that you wear versus you wearing darker colors like black or navy that are extra sleek and extra streamlined that will just make your overall frame appear thinner. Now all these eight tips you got to keep in mind that these are all just temporary solutions to a problem that you can easily fix with a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of effort. At the end of the day your ultimate goal should be to pack on muscle because that's what's going to make you look good and all types of clothing, you don't have to worry about any of this, and even more importantly, it's just a healthier lifestyle. Which is why, if you're interested in that, that's what you want, I suggest you take the first baby step. Get yourself a weight scale that you can weigh yourself every morning. This is to keep you accountable and able to track your progress as you gain weight. And the one that I recommend hands down is the FormFit scale by our sponsor Vitagood. This is the scale that I have been using every morning for over a year and honestly, I don't know how I lived without it before. Basically every morning, as soon as I wake up, fully fasted, I like to hop on the scale and see what my body weight is. Like I said, I'm a hard gainer and to maintain my body weight of like 183, 185, I have to eat a lot of calories. If I don't, my weight starts to dip, but since I weigh myself constantly, I'm always making sure that my nutrition is on point. And if I see a dip in my weight consecutively, I know I need to fix something on my diet or I'm lacking. This is why I think it's important for you guys to do it too because it keeps you accountable and helps you reach that goal of finally putting on muscle. So I suggest you do it too to help you start packing that muscle and be the sexiest version of yourself you can be. Now this scale is pretty awesome on top of just the regular body weight. It also tells you your body fat percentage, bone density, water weight, and even muscle percentage. So it gives you a lot of information. And even though it's super high end right now, there's, if you click the link below, limited time, a 60% discount. Now, to me, that sounds like a bargain. That sounds like a steal, given that you're taking over 50% off the price. Over 50% of the price is gone. They're giving you a 60% discount, limited time. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to have that link below. Like I said, it's a perfect place to start if you're trying to gain more muscle. The fourth thing you're going to want to do is to avoid huge accessories. Accessories are awesome to increase your style. But if you're a skinny dude, you have to make sure that your accessories aren't too heavy as it will only contrast against your skinny frame and highlight it. So avoid wearing big faced watches, stacking bracelets, or wearing big rings. You want to keep your jewelry and your accessories minimal and thin so it more proportionally goes with your build. Number five, you want to wear clothing that builds up your shoulders. This is exactly why I love clothes and why I teach it so much because when you wear the right pieces, you can structure your body exactly like you want it to look like. And one thing when you're skinny, I remember this, you lack shoulder definition and those broad shoulders. So to avoid looking bony, certain garments that you can wear to kind of build that up are crew neck sweaters, biker jackets, suit jackets, or denim jacket. These have extra padding in the shoulders. It builds them up and gives you a dominant appearance. Number six, kind of a weird one, but you can wear shorts under your jeans. When you're too skinny, like seriously skinny, like a walking stick, it sometimes is very hard to find jeans that fit. So what happens is even when you buy skinny or slim fit jeans, it looks like you're wearing a classic cut and it looks like you're swimming in them. And since you don't have any thigh muscle or any junk in the trunk, your jeans look like they're about to fall out. So an easy way to create an illusion of volume is that you can wear basketball shorts 
underneath your jeans, kind of like the layering tip I was giving you. So it kind of thickens your bottom area so jeans better fit your frame and they look better on you. Now the best way to go would be to obviously find jeans that fit perfectly or get them tailored, but if you're struggling finding jeans that fit because you're too skinny, this is an easy hack to try. Number seven, you want to wear thick shoes and you're in luck. Chunky trainers are in right now. And since your shoes are basically the, the anchor of your outfit, a chunky shoe will just make you look heavy and add some heft to your overall visual appearance. So of course, you have options when it comes to chunky shoes. Obviously, you have stuff like your Air Max 97s, your New Balances, but you also have dressier options like certain Oxfords or even better boots right now that fall and winter is coming. And finally, number eight, you want to roll up your sleeves. If you're wearing anything from a long sleeve t-shirt, a sweater, or a dress shirt and you're extra skinny you want to always roll up your sleeve basically when you scrunch up your sleeves that excess fabric will collect on the top part of your arm and make your biceps and overall arm look bigger and thicker than what it really is and that's basically it for today's video guys those are eight secrets or hacks that you can do if you're a skinny guy so you can look better in clothing if you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out the weight scale from our sponsor. If you want to start gaining some mass, it's at an affordable price right now. There's going to be a link down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.